Welcome, I'm your coach, Shaz Kraz. As a personal trainer and content creator, I bring you self-development for body and mind. I'm here in my studio, my private gym, and I'm doing an interview slash discussion format today. It's new. It's different to the, the like YouTube content I usually make. And that's what I want to talk about today, YouTube. And to help me today, I've got a special guest. He's an up and coming YouTuber himself. And I've been looking at his uh, channel right here. He's been he's been creating since 2016, when he worked in security. He's got a variety of content. It it includes game videos and challenge videos, sometimes for charity. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce my first guest. He's got a Joker video that's got over 80,000 views. So please subscribe to Mike Spears. <laughs> How you doing? Yes. A up, as we say in Nottingham. Yeah. A up, mid up. Yeah, A up. Yeah. <laughs> so, how are you doing, Mike? Yes, not not doing bad, doing good. Yeah. Doing good. Yes. Welcome to the show. It's, it's nice to have you here. Thank you. First guest, first guest. And I must say, every time I see you walking around, out and about, you are looking slimmer. Thank you. No, 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 that's a good thing. I don't want to be fat phobic, anybody, but it's a good luck. You're looking slimmer. Um, now, I think you've been doing a steps challenge, am I right? Yes. I, I was doing a one million step challenge, which is over a period of three months and it uh, tallies up to about 500 miles, um, 500 miles within a three month walk. Wow. Um, and coming to the end, I struggled a little bit because, uh, you know, kids off school and everything couldn't get out as much, but I did it. I did 1 million, about 1,000 or something. So just made it. Whoa. I mean, that's crazy. Did you kind of work it all out? Yeah, so what it was is on what you what you normally use to uh, count your steps, uh, like a step counter in your pocket when you're walking. Um, at the end of the day, um, you put it onto the uh, char charity website um, and that all tallies it up for you every time you put it on. Um, so... That was a big help because if I had to try to do maths, it wouldn't really go very well. So <laughs> you got to work out. So I was thinking about that. Now, like you, you're doing steps, so it's walking, walking versus jogging. Is jogging something you do? Jogging is something that I want to start doing. Um, as you mentioned um, about looking a bit slimmer, um, probably get into that. Obviously, with the weight loss, um, I have I did start jogging a little bit, but for this uh, walk challenge specifically, I was doing walking to fast paced walking, yes. but um, I have been jogging a little bit to try get myself back into that. I mean, I'm a big advocate for walking actually, because um, I mean, especially for weight loss, um, like people have a misconception that if you walk 10 miles and you jog 10 miles, you burn the same amount of calories. It's, no. not, it's not true. <laughs> no. It's like, it's about two, two and a half times more calories with jogging. So people say, I'm going to jog. Yeah. yeah. But specifically to losing weight, specifically a lot of weight, I'd always start with walking. Because oh, yes. It's low impact on the joints, one, physically, but two, mentally. I think that for me, I don't know about you, but you can come up with some really good YouTube ideas and it gives you mental clarity as well, fresh air, all that stuff. I mean, I've had a few interesting stories out on walks. You know, you see things. I mean, have you had any interesting experiences while you've been out on walk or...? Um, good for your, you know, state of mind. I'd, I'd, I'd say it's, it's helpful to be able to think clearer. If, if I, if I was just sat in the house and whatnot, you know, with uh, mental health as well, and, and you're not doing anything, you're not getting positivity. You know, you can get a mixed reaction of thoughts, and when you're out walking, jogging, running. It, it clears your mind. You, yeah, you can think. Yeah. You can think more clearer. And I've seen, I've I've seen a a, a few things. You know, walk, walking about, were walking um, about, and so it's 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 more it's more nature. Like, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's helpful because if you're going like change changing directions, if you're going this path instead of that path, there there was one where I went up to. Um, near a little road near here called uh, Catfoot Lane. Oh, yes, yes. And near it, if you keep going along, you get this lovely loads of fields. Oh, yeah. And yeah. in the summertime, 
you know, you've just got all these yellow flowers for oh, miles yes, all yes. all along. And it's just nice to be able to sort of stand there, just taking the view mm. and it's it's just it's just absolutely beautiful. It's not something I would have done when I was little, but now I under, understand the mental health and everything. I just find it fantastic and so calm and relaxing. Okay. And it helps. It helps more. It helps with positivity. It helps with your mindset. Definitely. I, I like that you mentioned Catholic Lane because I think it was around there when I was like in my 20s. I used to do lots of walks with a friend of mine. And we were walking through there, through Lamley, and you know, out in the green belt, and we we started uh, started uh, like you know, brisk walking. And we started singing "Staying Alive" by the Bee Gees. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, for those who don't know, it's got that false set of it. And exactly at that point, when we started saying "Staying Alive," <laughs> my friend started running. And I was turned from a walk to run, and I looked around, and we were walking past a house, a secluded house. There's this man working in his garden, mm. and being young and dumb, <laughs> we just I started running too. <laughs> so I went from a walk to run, you know. But uh, yeah, some funny stuff happens, and I don't know, maybe I attract it, but every time I'm on a walk, if we're talking about something like I've been ill, I had a norovirus once, mm. and I was talking about my norovirus, and I said, oh, I was sitting on the toilet, it's coming out of both hands, the smell was so bad, I got sick, and then my friend was like, oh, there's someone in his garden, it's the evening time, once a week, we do a walk in the evenings, Yes. and now <laughs> I'm talking about you know personal things, and someone's listening, yeah. but anyway, <laughs> that's, that's... There, there, was, there was one just about doing things like that, where... We, we was this was i mean what you mentioned about being younger uh, this was probably when i was about 16 17 me and a group of friends were again, again around the same area cat, cat foot lane yeah. but it was more towards the um but up, going through as in like you head into Bert, burton joyce direction oh, right, okay. and was that was going down that way and there was this massive trampoline and it must have been about 20 foot and it was on someone's front garden, and oh. I thought to myself, well, it looks like nobody's in. <laughs> just, just go up myself onto this trampoline. Yeah. So I went and jumped on, and my, my, my friends were looking at me, and they, they were going, get off, what are you doing? Yeah. And I was like, no one's in, come join. And there must have been about five of us in the end, bouncing on this oh, trampoline. <laughs> and the owners come round and just parked up in the car, in the, in the garden, and just stared at us like that. It's like... <laughs> Yeah, we'll just take our leave and go. Yeah, you, you wouldn't get that with jogging. <laughs> yeah, you're worried about that, yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's that's great. I mean, for idea generation, because we're talking about YouTube today. And yes. I was like, I get my ideas coming to me easier after a walk. You know, in the house, you kind of, mm, mm. like, they say that if you're in the shower or you're, or you're sitting on the toilet, you get your best ideas. You know, that, that's mm. the old joke, you know. But if you're sitting in front of the desk and you're trying to really work, that's when you get mentally constipated. That's, yes. the, that's the joke. Yeah. But uh, yeah, um, I understand that you also have, uh, you live with a condition called a BPD. Yes. Uh, so uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Because I've seen it on your YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So um, BPD is borderline personality disorder, yeah. um, which also is, you can say it as emotionally unstable personality disorder. Yeah. And it's something that won't go away. Um, I I had it from a teenager, um, and I went through sort of, sort of a lot in a relationship, and I believe that's what sort of made it come out a bit more. I started um, feeling in ways that I never. I, I I never experienced, you know, I was fine one day and then all of a sudden I'd literally be headbutting a wall crying oh. and it's like, it's something that sort of, when you don't know about it, when you don't know you've got it and you go from being, let's say, feeling fine mm. to crying, stressing, um, people self-harm, people can try to commit suicide, um, constant thoughts of, um, um, you know, bad body image. Mm. Um, like, for example, because I live with it, I, I lost that 10 stone in weight. And because I still got two and a half stone to lose, it's not, you know, I'm, I was, I was happy at the time, but I'm, I'm not happy. And this is why I haven't f finished off, finished off losing it yet, because... I think to myself, I've done all that. I'm still fat. 
I'm still, I'm I'm not skinny. Well, yeah, I mean, you're a big guy. You're, you're definitely over six foot. Oh, so six, six foot size, three. You're a yeah. big guy, yeah. So, guys, I'm not, I'm not a dwarf. <laughs> I guess <laughs> this is just a large man. But uh, that's the thing. I mean, it, it, my, my friends, you know, some of them like to work out. And when you start buying the, the muscle magazines back in the day, mm. you start thinking that, hey, man, oh, look at my arm. It's like, oh, that's nothing. Yeah. yeah. That's like, that's, that's, it, it's kind of a dysmorphia, isn't it? Like muscle dysmorphia. It's like anorexia comes through. Yeah, these, these are other conditions. But the borderline personality disorder seems to kind of s- sounds a bit like a, what is it, bipolar disorder. So you're happy one and then you're down the next. It's, it, it can, it can be. It, it's like, it's like an, an emotional roller, roller coaster, yeah, yeah. you know. Um, I mean, I'm happy to say on camera right now, I absolutely love my life. Do you know what I mean? But sometimes I might get moments where I think to myself, this is crap, you know, yeah, yeah. and it's not. I'm just having a bad moment and it and it, it, it can affect things. Um, for example, YouTube video. I can't make a YouTube video if I'm having a bad day. Um, even though I do like to try... I want, I want to start trying to capture them moments because yeah. I, I want to do videos more based on mental health. Mm. So if I can capture myself having a bit of a bad day and then people can see it and be like, you know, I'm not the only one. Yeah. And do you know what I mean? If I, if I could help somebody with that, who's got BPD or any, anything, you know, because it's not nice to live with. Were, were you diagnosed formally as a doctor or is it something you've come to like, I, awareness? I went to a doctor's and um, they, they were just, and anybody with a uh, chron- chronic, with chronic mental health, uh, mental disorder, anything, will be able to tell you that every time you go to the doctor's and you say like, look, I'm feeling like this, 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 they'll just turn around and go, you've got depression. You've got anxiety. Here's some tablets. Ooh. See in a bit. Like a uh, Prozac. Yeah. But those are really bad because they can make uh, cause uh, suicidal tendencies, can't they? Mm. So, so you know, would you stay clear of the medicated stuff? Or uh, I, I am on medication. Oh, right, okay. um, I take. Uh, <laughs> it's just one of those like proper professional names. Yeah, uh, yeah. And it's like uh, cu- cutapine, cutapine. Right, okay. Um, and it's actually a medication for schizophrenics. Really? Even oh. though I'm not schizophrenic, but it's I need that something that bit stronger to help yeah. help does, calm. Yeah. Does does that work well for you then? Is it? Is it? Oh, I've I've been on it for about a year and a half, and Good. uh, they haven't changed it as of yet. Um, but to get to that point, it was like I said, the the doctors just try get rid of you by saying here's this and then I'd keep going back and for about four four and a half five years the doctors just kept on changing the medication mm-hmm. and they one day just referred me to a psychiatrist oh. and within the I went in did an assessment went in a week later the psychiatrist goes you've got BPD right and it took a long time to get there mm-hmm. um, it, it was a bit of a, a nightmare I mean, generally, through the information age we live in, there's awareness of everything, right? Everyone knows about OCD. And for our viewers who don't know, OCD is like obsessive compulsive disorder. Yes, yeah. yeah. I, I, used to, I used to be quite bad with hygiene when I was younger. Uh, a friend of mine recently reminded me, I used to have a ritual. I used to have a, have a, when I'd buy like a, a used video game, and I used to play a lot of games, mm. I used to tear off these strips of tissue, and get some Dettol spray, clean it thoroughly the edge of the disc and everything I was, I was a bit of a hygiene you know, freak in these in these departments but I, I've improved in, in uh, 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 recent years and uh, the other one was I was a bit sad yeah? <laughs> sad ma- meaning seasonal affective disorder now these are things we, we just read upon and we think oh that's me you know it's mm. the, the general public does. I mean I think most people suffer from this you probably do too that when it's shorter days in winter and there's less sunlight you feel sad seasonal affective disorder yeah I feel less motivated. Like, literally, right now, if it was dull, I'd be a little bit down. Yeah. yeah. Then, when the sun comes out, I'm like, well, literally, that moment, I feel, oh, everything's not so bad. And yeah. they're like Superman, you know, powered by the really? sun. Yes. Yeah. It's like kryptonite. I don't, I don't mind kryptonite. But my kryptonite is actually cake. Yeah. I, I like cake, right? It's the sweets. 
And Tell like, me about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what about you? Is it is it sweet or is it fried foods and stuff? Everyone's got a kryptonite. What's your kryptonite, Mike? I, it's got, it's got to be something like that. Like one one of my weaknesses is uh, bacon. Right, Do you okay. know what I mean? Fried. It's it's so easy to when you're out and about, you know. And, and you're thinking, I need to go home and I need to do myself breakfast. It's so easy to just stand somewhere and just go, can I have a, a bacon sandwich, bacon, cob, yeah. bat, whatever it's called. Yeah, it's, it's so easy and it's so tasty. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's a big downfall. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, actually, um, I was thinking mental health in the public in, in recent years. It's been, it's been tough taxing years, as we all know. Yeah? Oh, yeah. And uh, I've noticed, I don't know about you, have you noticed that the general public are more aggressive. And I've noticed this specifically, <coughs> specifically through driving. I know you don't drive very much. You, you, you choose to walk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But things I used to do for years, like joining a roundabout you know, a bit late, people drive behind you and things like that, now results in people actually stopping and maybe shouting something through the window. This, I, I've noticed a, a, an increase of you know, negativity in the way people behave. So have you, have you seen this? Yes. Um... When, like you mentioned, I choose to walk, I do. Um, I'm, I'm able to go for my driving lessons, but I just love walking. Yeah. I walk anywhere. Um, but it's like, if my dad takes me somewhere and, you know, you're constantly seeing people honking the horns and, yeah, yeah. you know, yes, that is a like a warning, but yeah. more than usual. Yeah. And I, I think, you know, it, it has been a rough year, year or two and... One thing I have noticed is I was at work and, you know, I, I work in customer service, I work in co-op and it's not a part, you know, if you go into a shop, people normally say to you, you know, do you need help with your packet, uh, packing? I think good customer service is always go to pack for them unless they, they say so. Okay. Um, so that, that's what I do at work. I, I get the bag, scan, put stuff in, and people are always over the moon about it. Like you haven't got to, and I'm like, if you want to, if you want to do it, that's fine. I goes, otherwise I I can do it, and they're like, oh thank you, yeah, you go ahead and oh, nice. and doing it, like making people happy. And I had this one customer that come in, and she came in for one item, hmm. and she literally went like that to pass it to me. So I was like, okay, I went to get it, and she pulled it back, and she proper stared at me. And I, I thought for a second I, I, I was going to get hit or something. Like, it was a proper angry Rage. stare. Yeah. And I thought, I was like, like, Street Fighter, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I was going to go down. And <laughs> she, uh, she, she, she didn't even say nothing. She had a mask on and she put, she put it to, I scanned it. And I literally just thought to myself, how, how do you do a big shop? You know, if you go into Asda with a trolley, how, and you've got 30, 40 items, do you stand there and literally get them to scan every single one? And it, it's not something that I've, I've, I've ever seen. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't know how or what to say to this lady yeah. apart from sorry, which yeah. goes a long way. It does. And that, that was basically it. I mean, it's, it's crazy, actually. People people are definitely, I mean, just call it chip on the shoulder now. You know, we don't know, this lady, her personal circumstance, she might have been stressed about something. Her day could have gone really wrong. We don't know. We yeah, ha definitely. You handle it well. Um, and Which brings me to my next question. Really. Um, I understand you worked in security, yeah? Oh, yes. Yeah. You were a doorman. Yes, yeah. yeah. And I imagine you must have dealt with a lot of aggressiveness in, in it. Yeah. So, so is there, some, <laughs> is there some specific training that you had to do, like maybe part of your SIA license or something, that you, you needed to to calm someone down? Is there something you could tell us that you could do that could diffuse aggression when you're facing it? One one thing I can say, which I found very helpful, is one of the main things is say if you're stood with somebody, you know, say say if. Uh, me, me and you went out and somebody came towards me and was being, being you know, why, why have you done that? Why have you done this? Right. And I'm trying to talk to him 
you know, keep it on a calm level. As soon as you start to raise your voice, yeah. they're going to get fired up yeah. even more. It goes over and over. Right? So keep it on a calm level and try and meet in a 50-50 way. Don't try to get a win out of the argument. Meet in the middle so both are happy. Nice. And if it keeps going on and you're thinking, right, I can't, I, I'm, I'm going to start getting angry in a minute, the best thing to do is to turn around to some somebody else Obviously, if both people are willing to do this, otherwise it would just look embarrassing. And switch. Yeah. So you can go calm down and your friend or other security guard, if uh, anyone's watching this who's in security or something, but switch and let this other person start doing the talking to try and calm them down whilst you're taking a breather. Okay. Um, mm, that's good. That, that's, good. That, 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 that's done well for yeah, me. That, that makes sense. I mean, um, I was wondering if you took any... Maybe did you take martial arts like karate or anything like that? I've yeah. I've done uh, kickboxing. Okay. I I did kickboxing for uh, from when I was about sixteen till I was nineteen. Um, then I did a bit of cage fighting in uh, Snenton okay. area. All right. Um, and then I, I I got into boxing, but it wasn't like in in a club or anything. It was more. Um, like go go into a field, um, and this trainer, you know, pads, and you do a bit of a workout on the field. Ooh. Um, so yeah, I I did that them three, uh, which helped a lot with mental health, yeah, um, does. and confidence, and that also helped me get through school years. Yeah. Oh well, school years, I mean, <laughs> man. You know, I I didn't really get into fights really in school. I I'd, I'd you know subconsciously avoid them because I was, I think I was more scared of. The, the backlash from my parents if I got into yeah. a fight more than the fight itself because I used to I used to work I used to, I used to train on the bag I used to stay fit and stuff yeah but I, I never wanted to get into a fight you know I mean there, there were a few occasions where people would get me because we were just like kind of I, yeah my my parents yeah. didn't really know um about it um it all started off through through bullying yeah um due to being overweight mm. um at school and when we got into a, six weeks holidays in and I wouldn't say to do this this is not good at all but within six weeks I lost weight and I mm. lost a stone a week through not eating and uh serious training and yeah. I ended up doing 300 press-ups 300 sit-ups and six hours running nice. and the only downside was I wasn't eating which yeah, yeah is so dangerous on the body. It's the nutrition, you know. And I ended up going back to school. Yeah. And people still tried to sort of bully me for it. Mm. And I turned around and defended myself. Yeah. And I, I wouldn't... I always like to make people happy. So when I ended up doing stuff like that, it would upset me. And mm. I'd, I'd cry. Because yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want to hurt bad. people. you feel bad about it. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's decent, man. Uh, I, I mean, I remember one time, uh, sports day uh, and I always I was, I was into running I was a good runner I always come first gotta be gold yeah and I was pretty tired pretty hot me and my friend we went in we went to use the tap and there was this hard kid yeah mm. he, he wanted to go on, on, on the tap and I kind of like shouldered and I said oh, I'm hot I'm thirsty I want to drink and then I said fine I'm too hot to fight you drink my friend was like are you crazy you know <laughs> his, his dad is hard yeah? He's, I, I didn't know anything beyond that and then, like in recent years, uh, he he told me that oh, you know that that kid. So, yeah, he, he respected me for it at the time. Yeah, so about time. Yeah, mm. but uh, normally I wouldn't you know, confront him anyway. Um, but his his dad recently got done for a big drug bust, and I was like, oh man, oh, wow. I, really, I really shouldn't have messed with him. <laughs> but you yeah. know, that's that's crazy, you know. So uh, yeah, yeah, Mike, um, tell me um, what back to the YouTube thing. Is it something therapeutic then that you started? Because you started as a security man. Is is it is or is it more stressful? Because I understand that you've got burnout, you've got analysis paralysis in in YouTube itself. Mm. That's pretty complex. Which is basically writer's block. So, did you find that content creating is like therapeutic to you, or is it kind of hard for you? Is it more stressful? I'd say the working on the doors was the more stressful. Mm. Um, you know, it's it was it was like for example on on. If you look at my first two days of doing each, on the first day working on the doors was St. Paddy's Day. Oh, yeah. And I yeah, went... My, my birthday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. I never, I never actually fact. knew that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I went in there 
all new, new in security, and probably within two hours, the whole club started jumping, and by that I mean fighting. Yeah. And I radioed through and I said, what do we do? We can't stop everyone. It's yeah. like eight of us, it's like 250, 300 people. What and last time? The head doorman radioed back and went, join in. <laughs> so, so we had a massive uh. bust up on that first night. But then, when you look at the YouTube side of it, first day, it was fun. Yeah. You know, my first video is probably about three seconds long, and it's me stepping on, well, it, it's just, just captioned uh, something like the noise you make when you step on Lego, and it's just me oh, yeah. going, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Knock the mic over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, that, that got like 2,000 views, and it was wow. like... It was like, wow, I absolutely loved it. And I've always said, with YouTube, it is therapeutic. Yeah. I do I do really enjoy it. Um, you know, the ed- editing, um, sometimes if, if, I, if I do a talking thing and I think that don't need editing, yeah. just took a little intro and outro on. And the reason I do YouTube is because I want to make people happy. Yeah. You know, as well as... I want to make videos, and in the future look back at the bat, uh, back at them, and go. I can remember that. I enjoyed that. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. But if people see my videos, that's a bonus. If they enjoy them, and then fantastic, because I just want to make people smile and make people happy. That's Do you nice. know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. if they're happy, I'm happy. Type of thing. That's so nice. it's definitely, yeah. I definitely enjoy it. I mean, uh, that would work well with YouTube Shorts, that little sound effect one. I've got one. Um, my my laptop sounds like Nelson from The Simpsons when you open the disc tray. So I'm just going to try to catch that right now. Uh, the, the CD. Uh, who uses CDs now? Uh, get this, people. Oh, it's not, wow. It's not, it's not working. <laughs> Hang on. Did you hear that, guys? It sounds like Nelson after The Simpsons. Look. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, but, but that's the thing with YouTube. Um, it kind of, uh, it kind of, uh, I don't know if the word is typecast, but it kind of boxes people into categories. Now you had a good success on that first video. I had a good success with my Street Fighter animated talking avatars. Yes. So they they say their lines, you know, uh, with the animation. YouTube picks up on that. It says people like the thumbnail. They click on it. Then they'll watch enough of it. And then it'll play through, uh, and then they'll recommend it to more people. That's yeah, it. that's how it works. So. so I was like, okay, Street Fighters works. Now, like you, I like to make variety because we're we're multifaceted beings. You know, we're, yeah, we're definitely. People. So the thing is, I'm I'm thinking, okay, Street Fighter works, but I want to do other things. They're not working, but now I'm gonna just start doing Street Fighter again and again. It, it's it's something I've been stuck with. I mean, I like the game. Yeah. I, I used to I used to play it as a kid, but you know I don't want I don't want to go into that direction all all the way you know uh, yeah yeah like yourself now um what what about what about your channel what what's the future for Mick Spears my my channel is I've I've sort of changed the name um a, a little bit now mm. um a lot of people liked it when I had Joker in my yeah, name yeah. because a lot of people. On YouTube, if you search up channels, a lot of people, there's loads of the Joker channels. Right. And the thing is, it's just because people like the name. Mm. Now, mine, I've put now Mike, and then obviously in brackets, uh, the Joker Spears. And the reason for having the Joker in it is because mental health. You know, yeah. if if you've seen the yeah. latest one or even all the others, mm. is affected in some way by mental health. Mm. And a lot of people say sometimes when I laugh randomly, it's like it's like a joke. You're just laughing, just random. It wasn't even yeah. funny what you're laughing at. Yeah, really. <laughs> um, so my channel direction, the, what what the future, what I want to do with it, is keep making a nice variety of content. You know, I don't want to wake up in the morning and go. I need to do the same thing every day because it it can it can it can play with your mind. It takes it, the fun you know, out of it. Yeah, mm. you know, I want to. What I'm going to start doing, I was going to do one today. I might still do. Okay. Is every day or every other day, 
I'm going to post a positive message on. And it can be to do with anything. It can be a quote. It can uh, be about food. It can be about, you know, just positivity. Yeah. So people can come on in the morning and watch it and be like, wow. As well as that, I want to do... Um, Start getting back into reaction videos. I did one that I really enjoyed. I thought I thought it was great, mm. looking at like a, a jackass type thing, and I'm just yeah. reacting to okay. it. Yeah. Um, and then from that, gaming videos, um, more probably now to do with mobile gaming. Yes, yes. Um, and then I like to make little music videos, yeah. which um, I, I make of my kids when we're doing something fun. Put yeah. it all together. Nice yeah. little music video. There you go. Nice memories too. Yeah. yeah. And then just some ran- random videos um, that could be, you know, informative. Um, uh, Nottingham history you're interested in. Right? Yes. Yeah. Um, like things like that. I, I want to start going out and doing a little video and I'll either do talking or I'll put the information on the screen as well as talking. Mm. And get history about Nottingham. And, you know, people can look at it and be like, wow, I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. know this. I didn't know yes, that. Yes, I have a friend, he, he, he looks at old photos, like, the, compare them to new photos of Nottingham. So yeah. Like, there used to be a river here, now it's houses. That yeah. That kind of thing, yeah. So that's quite, quite popular. Yeah. It's, you know, when I'm well, d- d- doing research, I looked at the old Market Square. Yeah. And I was thinking, just thinking about what it is today and thinking... That is that isn't not Nottingham Square, hmm. and it is and it's, the horse and carriages. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. I've seen those. Yeah. Like, like, wow. You know, my nan's nan probably had a horse and carriage. Like, it's un- unbelievable yeah. how fast time has changed, and we are losing history yeah. every day. And it will be awesome for to keep that information going and for people to yes. see it and be like, wow. And- in a way, you're making history yourself now, because people say, oh, don't worry about the camera, you know, you're filming a video, be cool, be relaxed. We are making history because oh, yeah. our kids, kids, kids in the future, they'll look back and they'll see us talking. Right yes, now. definitely. So, hello. Hi, kids. <laughs> <laughs> this is the past talking to you. Right <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely a cool right? what we're doing here. I, I always hold it in high esteem. You record something and it's left a memory for yourself, but it's something for future generations to enjoy as well. Yes, definitely. That's why one thing I mentioned is um, with when I started YouTube, I just want to be able to look back at it and yeah. for my kids to look back at it. That's it. And, you know, with other people seeing it, you know, it's it's been fantastic. And, do you know what I mean? Like I said, just making the people happy, it's it just puts a nice, a nice big smile on my face just knowing yeah. people are enjoying it. That's good, dude. Uh, I think, you know... When you add value through through YouTube specifically, that's when the views start coming in and you get your your, your first thousand so true fans. Yes. And it'll escalate from there. So, uh, yeah, Mike, um, I myself, uh, I'm, I'm with you on this. I want to move away from the games and stuff that, from our younger years. You know? mm. uh, I'll still do the odd Street Fighter content, don't worry, guys. But uh, I'd like to give a shout out right now to the Legends Gaming YouTube channel. channel. Uh, he's a young YouTuber and he does Street Fighter videos. He uploads quite often, so if you want to check out some retro fighting game videos, yeah. check that out. I'll put the link in the description. I'll put Mike's link in the description. Please subscribe to him. He's a good channel. He's a good guy. And, uh, of course, subscribe to me as well. And, uh, yes, thank you, Mike. Thank you for coming. Thank I really enjoyed much. it. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Mike. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Don't forget to like and hit... <laughs> Don't... Don't... Don't forget to hit that like and... <laughs> okay, don't forget to like and comment. And hit that subscribe button. That's very good. No worries, he's not hitting me. Sorry. Oh, what, if I die? <laughs> You're like a big kid. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.